Hey everyone, Khan here once again with another commentary for you. This one's going to be about ASEN and if I'm going to be bringing my games to the arcade room again this year. A uh, quick note about the gameplay first though. This is a AAA of Flash in the Night. I'm going to be uploading a video of it very, very soon. So you can keep a lookout for that. It should be up on my channel probably uh, right after this one, this uh, commentary is uploaded. But anyways, back onto the main topic here, which is am I bringing my games to ASEN this year? Uh, to be honest, I'm not sure. I'm not sure if anyone knows what's going on for video games this year at ASEN. If you go onto their website, ASEN.org, they haven't updated their uh, the gaming page since 2011. Yeah, uh, it's unbelievable that it's been so long since it's been updated. I don't even think there's an email to contact anyone for the video game department right now. And that might be partially uh, due to Chris, who was in charge of video games at ASEN. He was uh, let go and relieved of his position. So there's, to my knowledge, no one in charge of the video game department right now. Um, I'm not really sure what's going to happen because of uh, Chris not being there. But um, general consensus so far... Things aren't looking too good. And the reason why I'm saying that it's stuff isn't really looking too good without really saying that uh, without anyone really being in charge of the video game department, it's because how we've been treated in the past. We're considered a service to the convention, which that's all fine and dandy, but they haven't been treating us very fair. For people that are a service to the convention... Um, for most conventions, we're given a free hotel, we're given uh, transportation costs, taking care of parking, taking care of all these necessities needed to bring our our equipment to the convention is usually paid for, but ASEN would never do it. And it, we didn't really stand up for ourselves at first, but now it's just like we finally had enough because we're walking away with almost nothing in our pockets and it's absolutely unfair. So what happened was at the end of ASEN 2012, Chris was let go, and uh, uh, Credits Remaining, which is one of the other suppliers for arcade games, they do most of the classic stuff, and they also bring a few music games with them. They pretty much said if things don't change, they're not going to be uh, bringing games this year. And the problem is if they don't bring their games this year, I don't have changers I don't have change. I don't have any of the equipment needed to support the game room just on my games. Uh, so if I were to bring my games, it would have to be like a free play convention or the convention would literally have to provide the coin changers and the quarters for those coin changers to be able to support the game room. And I highly doubt they would be willing to do either of those. So... Uh, right now, considering that Chris Remaining is out until things for like hotel, uh, parking, uh, delivery, everything else is taken care of, there's probably not going to be a game room. Uh, I really hate to say that. I don't know about the console side. I know they provide stuff for the console room as well, but there's usually other groups that supply for the console room. So um, it's it's re I really hate to say it, but there might not be an arcade game room. And I, I can't really imagine a ASEN without it, but that's that's what we're looking at right now is there's it's me and Kretz remaining usually that do it and without uh Kretz remaining I can't do it. It's it's too hard. Um I don't have mu I'm just one person. Kretz remaining's a business. I can't provide all this extra stuff needed to support the game room. So it would have to be free play and I don't think they're willing to do that. Uh, and also, I also want to stick up for myself by saying they really do need to pay for the hotel rooms and stuff because last year I think I made really like 50 bucks and I walked away from the convention with $50. And that's like terrible. That's, uh, I can't even explain the, the trailer, the gas, the parking, everything combined. Oh, and the hotel room especially. All that stuff combined, it really it hurts your profit so badly. You usually walk away with almost nothing in your pocket, and that needs to change, especially this year if they want us to do it, or else I'm going to be bringing my games to a different convention. So with all that said, um, I know I said there's probably not going to be an arcade game room this year if they don't actually step forward and do all this stuff, but there's still hope. 
I talked to my friends who are in charge of Bomani Invasion. They said they have expressed interest in doing ASEN, but they have been told absolutely nothing for if they're supposed to be bringing their games, if they're being paid to do anything, nothing. We have absolutely no idea if they're going to be providing the games. Uh, they don't know because they haven't been in touch with anyone from ASEN. They just said, hey, we'd be willing to do it. And then ASEN, it sounds like they probably just said, okay, well, let's, we'll get in touch with you soon. And it's been months. So uh, either expect no game room or a um, probably Bamani Invasion is my guess because um, Bamani Invasion, I don't know. I wouldn't say that they would do it for like free and stuff, but if they're going to be partnering with, um, what's it called, Hardcore Synergy, like I was told, they might partner with Hardcore Synergy. It might be in the budget to bring them over, but we don't know. We really, really don't know. So nothing has been confirmed for the arcade game room, and in all honesty, time is counting down to sort of figure this stuff out. I mean, months go by relatively quickly, and for us to be able to provide for the convention we need to know soon so yeah just wanted to make this quick video here to keep you guys updated on if there's going to be a game room it's probably not the commentary you want to hear or anything for that matter that you really want to hear but um yeah i still will probably be going to asen either way just to hang out with the, with uh my friends there but without a game room i can only see myself probably going only one day so, yeah, there's the, your update uh, in regards to that. If you guys like this commentary, uh, don't forget to leave a like below and subscribe. See you guys later.